Okay, when we were delivering the newspapers, there for a while we had five routes. And during that time, we had where we needed uh, another vehicle. And we luckily found a um, escort. And lo and behold, we got it for $199. And that car, we had to pay to have a relative tow it back to our place. But once Josh took a look at it, fixed, I, I don't even remember, it seemed like there was something to do with a brake or something, I don't know. Anyway, once he got it fixed, that car actually ran so good, we did all five routes for, I think it was like two years, hardly put anything into it. It was a really great running car, and we were doing fine with it until there was one spot that when we delivered... Uh, we went from the main road, we had to go down this road, and then get down to the end of it, and, and turn to the right, and go down just a little bit, and deliver one paper. And then we had to come back, and go all the way back past how, how we had, and back to the main road. And it had never been a problem before. I mean, we had, you know, with it being night or early, early morning, we would have to watch out for deer and other wild animals. But that basically was it. But for some reason, it seemed like it was still kind of dark. It was early in the morning, but it was still kind of dark. And I saw light glint off of something in the field. And I, I figure it was probably its, its harness or something. Um, but I, I, then I realized it was a dog. But I had slowed down, never realized that there was going to be a problem. But the owners decided to call it back even though they could see us coming and they had to know that we were on our way back and if it just stayed where it was it would have been fine but they called it back across the road and not even paying attention to us anymore at that point it went running across right in front of us and we hit it I mean we couldn't avoid it I'd slow down but and this dog was huge it, it created issues with the car um, the owners were looking for the dog because it took off and ran around back and their friend was there and their friend asked if the car was running okay now and I said well it was making a funny noise that it hadn't been making before the dog ran out in front of us well then the, the owners they found the dog and they didn't say anything they just rushed it to the vet which I understand you're worried about your dog but your dog damaged my car and so I said to, you know, the, the friend about how it was making noise that it hadn't been and figured that they would get in contact with us. And I kept watching and figuring we would stop and say something to them in the coming days and even weeks. But lo and behold, they must have figured that they were going to end up paying a big bill and didn't want to have to do that because they put, it looked like probably a blanket over the window and you could still see light around the edge when they had the light on inside, but they, they never contacted, they never did anything to make it right. And we ended up, um, we had to quit using it and it was a really good car, $199, very little put into it, but because they didn't keep their dog in the yard like they should have. And, and really, who yells for your dog to come running across in front of a car? So, yeah, that was another experience we had on the routes. And another vehicle that we were out because of somebody else's stupidity. But um, I'll get into some more. I've got lots and lots of stories from when we were delivering papers. Um... I will say that for the most part, I don't miss doing the papers. I miss driving, especially when it was nice, you know, it was hot and you get the breeze and everything. And I actually enjoyed driving a lot. I did. It, I w relaxed and I was a good driver and it wasn't an issue. But because that woman T-boned us, now I have PTSD and I have trouble being in a vehicle no matter who is driving, even myself. Because the day that that happened, she hit us, it was a beautiful day. It was so nice. It was dry. The roads were clear. The, the, it was sunny. It, it never should have happened. And now every time I need to get in the vehicle, 
it's hard. It's really hard. But um, I do it because I'm not going to let her win. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I guess that's good for right now, and I will be talking with you soon. Bye.